What's up guys, welcome to this installment of EAP TV. Today we're gonna to be addressing one of the most common questions that we get here at Easy Agent Pro, and that's which CRM should I be using? Coming up. All right guys, so this video is a long time coming. I've had a lot of people asking this question on a daily basis, and I've never really been entirely sure how to approach the subject. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, then you know that MailChimp is my go-to CRM. I love MailChimp because of how much functionality they offer for completely free. Even recently, MailChimp opened up all of its automation to its free users, so that's a lot of functionality to offer for completely free. So I tend to lean towards MailChimp just because it's something I'm most familiar with and I enjoy the layout and the user interface the most. But the biggest problem with the question, which CRM should I use, is I think that people are looking for the best CRM. They wanna know which CRM out of all the ones available is the definitive champion the king of CRMs. And I just think that type of conclusion is impossible to draw on because it's really dependent on the type of database you're currently working with, the type of budget that you currently have, how familiar you are with automated features, how experienced you are with the different technical aspects of running a CRM. Because like I said a little earlier, each CRM is gonna have its strengths and each one is gonna have its weaknesses. And those are all dependent on your database, your budget, all the different variables that go into how you run your business. So instead of dragging this out and doing a video series that you could spend hours running through trying to figure out still which CRM is best for you, we decided to create a quiz. All right, so here we are at the very start of the quiz, and the very first question we're gonna ask you guys is how big is your database? So let's just assume that maybe you're a relatively new agent and you have less than 100 people logged in your database right now. Next, how big is your team? Are you flying solo? Are you operating independently? Do you have a partner? Are you part of a large scale team? Let's just say that you're flying solo right now. How would you rate your ability to use software? Are you really new to the world of websites and CRMs and social media, or are you really experienced and you've been doing this for a while? Or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. So let's just start with, I can do the basics. Do you like it when systems are easy and simple, somewhat complex, or 100% complex and custom? It's important to understand that with increased complexity, there's gonna be a higher learning curve involved, but also there's gonna be an increased amount of control offered up to you. But instead of starting with a CRM like Infusionsoft, for example, which is relatively complex, but does offer up a huge amount of control, I would say start with something easy and simple. That way you can build from there. It's gonna be much less frustrating if you're starting with some of the more easy to use and intuitive CRMs and then building your way into the more complex systems. So let's select easy and simple. Next, is pricing important to you? So we know that a lot of different agents are operating on a bunch of different marketing budgets, and that budget is really gonna determine which features we think you should keep and which ones we think you should just go without. So let's again go with the idea that you're a relatively new agent and you don't have a significant marketing budget just yet, you're just starting out. So let's go with money is tight. What's your experience level with getting new leads? So how experienced are you with digital marketing in general, lead capture, Facebook, follow-up systems, all of those different systems that come into play when it comes to generating new leads online? How experienced are you with all of that? I'm going to stick with the same example that you're a relatively new agent and I'm gonna select I'm getting there. Finally, how many automations do you have running right now? And this could come down to a few different services. So for example, you could be using Zap to auto post to social media or IFTT to receive email notifications anytime someone tweets out something specific. So you could have some experience with automation in general. It doesn't have to relate specifically to a CRM, but let's again, just stick with our example and assume you're relatively new to all of this. So let's say zero. Now let's go ahead and get our recommendations. And there you go, so we're recommending a combination of BombBomb and Lion's Desk. We think you'd be a perfect fit for Lion's Desk and BombBomb. Combined, you'll be set up until you really scaled your business. They give you an affordable way to get started while still having access to nearly every type of follow-up marketing system. Lion's Desk is remarkably inexpensive compared to the size of their feature set, and you can pair that great sales follow-up with an answer video marketing system from BombBomb. And you'll also notice that we have links to both of the free trials for these two different platforms. And that's all there is, guys. Those are the most important questions to consider before you go out and select your CRM. And that's it, guys. That's the whole quiz. I hope you found that somewhat helpful. Again, remember, the link to that quiz is gonna be down below in the description. I would encourage you to take the quiz, and then if you have any questions about our recommendations, feel free to leave a comment right below this video, or maybe you're a member of the BeatZillow Facebook group, feel free to drop a comment in there. We're very comfortable with the recommendations that we're making based off this quiz, but also one of the next things you can do is after taking the quiz, a lot of these different platforms have free trials. So we would highly encourage you to take these free trial periods and really get experienced with the user interface and how the platform works and really decide whether or not this is something you can implement into your business. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. And if you are new here, then consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. And that will also make sure that you are in the loop and notified anytime we post a new video here on YouTube. And as always guys, it is such a pleasure and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.